Welcome back, guys, for a playthrough, our legacy playthrough of Destiny 1. Okay, so make some things round. Got a new emblem. Decided to uh, rock a new shader, stolen chalice. This is probably, mm, I don't want to say it's my favorite emblem, but uh, a rock and ruin is, like, pretty epic and fantastic. It's hard not to absolutely love this one. Um, let's get rid of trust and honor. I only want the one for now. Uh, I want to go to the tower and see if I can... Well, we got a couple things I want to do there first. Let's go here. So the Shadow Thief particular strike or mission, as it were, is the second to last mission within the House of Bulls DLC. The final one is the Skolas Revenge, which is a part of Prison of Elders, the Challenge of Elders thing. Uh, took me a second there because there was no raid in House of Wolves. Crota's End had the Dark, or Dark Below had Crota's End, and then House of Wolves had had that. Man, I missed that. Um, and then there's a couple of strikes that we're going to do. I haven't quite decided yet what we're going to do. The title of the video gives it away, but I don't decide the title until, like, I'm probably, you know, right in the middle of doing things in my game, in my session, in my video, my recording, what have you. Um, I did move over my exotic, so I have to decide on which one I want to rock. Um, let's go ahead and grab a couple of things. Strut around the tower, moved over a couple pieces of armor, and mixed some things up. I love the look right now. Really, really great. The shader system was so much easier, I think, in D1. I get it. It's probably better to customize every individual piece of armor. But, like, there was just something a little bit more... Do I want to say succinct? I don't know the terminology I'd like to use, but there's just something about how the shaders really flowed all the armor pieces together in D1 that D2 just doesn't do. I don't know exactly what it is, but I think there's just, like, the shader system is so weird. Like, the colors on the shaders don't really make a ton of sense. Just like, ooh, yeah, we might rock this for a minute. Like, they don't make a ton of sense. You can't really tell exactly what part of the armor is going to be colored what when you throw on the shader. And in D1, that was a little bit more tolerable. In D2, it's, like, super abstract, and they've redone the shader system multiple times, and it just doesn't... It just, it just sucks. Um, what do I want to use? I think I'm going to keep... Well, that one's kind of fun. This one's kind of fun, too. Is this a 160 as well? Yeah, I think Time Breaker, this is the one from the Vault of Glass Raid. This one's special because it goes even faster than 160 through, like, a boost, but then it blows up. So, like, you gotta be careful. Um, the SRL one I grabbed just because it's SRL stuff. This one's not terrible, but I'm gonna try this one. Still got the one horn. Um, this is the only shooter that I really wanted to have on me. Or, uh, uh, emote, rather. Yeah, this is a special helmet because it is no longer available. You will never be able to get this ever again because Iron Banner is not in the game anymore. And while, like, I don't have all the pieces to the Iron Banner glowing set, this is the one that I wanted the most. The helmet is just gorgeous. So I'm going to rock it to brag. I'm just really surprised there's anybody still playing this game. Like, I didn't I didn't think anyone thought the same way I did about D1. But it makes sense that they do. I, you know. How many Not found. strange coins do we have? Just the one? Yeah, Elder Sigil. Maybe we will give that a try. Ah, this thing is, I don't know if anyone's playing Prison of Elders. I'm wondering if I should try that now. We'll see. Guardian, I haven't decided yet. You are our protector, our champion, our legend. I faith will turn the tide. Will turn the tide that rises against humanity. Return to the fight, Guardian. And replay the exact same things over and over again. Man, oh god, PlayStation Studios, please take over Bungie in the way that just like do not give them any sort of like is it autonomy? Is that the word? Don't give them any sort of like We're all fighting for this. All for a good cause. Yeah, see there's the allegiance. Um, don't give them any sort of, like, independence at all. Take it away, fire these, the chief officers, all of them, and, like, just let the game sit. Have the same team, except for the chiefs, obviously, and the upper management, fire them all, and have them remake the game into a story mission, or a story, single-player story game with multiplayer aspects. That's all you really need to do. There's no reason that it couldn't be that way. Make the game massive and grand in scope and not as deep as a as a puddle, as it's always felt like it's been. D1's a little better than that. Excuse me, Guardian. Like, and then just be like, hey, like, you have strikes, and you have raids, and you have special challenges where you can interact with more than one player. Like, let that be an elective, not a requirement. Show you these. All the ornaments. 
Yeah, see, they got these pieces. Claws of Momokara. I'll grab this because I only have one coin. Only two. I may be here when you return. They made Zern kind of a joke in D2, didn't they? I don't know. I'm going to stop. I'm like, I got I to gotta bite my tongue. I don't want to make this playthrough all about how much I don't like D2. Oh, I have to pay for this? That is BS, dude. Support an ally of dead orbit. All right, fine. You again, I hope. All right, rocking it. Exotic, baby. You can't level it up, can you? Uh, Twist Fate. Stats and armor. Interesting. I never really paid attention to the fact that you can level... No, I guess maybe I did. I didn't realize that was the case. No, I didn't level any of the exotics up. I wonder why. My build is trash, though. Does this let me toggle the first node? No. This one is what? Strength and Discipline. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to kind of do my own thing. It's We're just playing for the mission stuff. We'll see how okay, easy, dude. All right, let's go take a look and see what we can do with the Prison of Elders. I don't know if it'll even work because it'll probably either put me in a solo session or I'll have to wait for people to join. I really don't know how it's going to work, but I do want to see if I can complete that. Now, the Shadow Thief Strike is one of a handful of strikes that were redone for D1. I think in, D th in year three is what they did. Um, there it is. Taken King, House of Wolves, Prison of Elders, level 28. Eroxus Grudge, Forever Eater, Skolossus Revenge. So this is the one that's locked. So let's see if we can just do some Prison of Elders stuff. So we do have to do more than that. I think we should be able to spank these guys at this, at this juncture. Um, at this level. I think that should be fine. Let's see, this should be okay. I'm gonna... Hmm... We'll play around like this with this build for a minute and see what this does for us. Um, lost my train of thought. Oh, the Shadow Thief Strike, what we did in the last video, they made a Sivified version of it, which is kind of cool. Let's see, should I want to throw bones on? And she is total babe. Love my Lady Hunter. Mm hmm. I can't believe they didn't bring these helmets and ornaments and stuff back for D2. Jesus Christ. Bite my tongue. Bite my tongue. Bite my tongue. This is easily one of the coolest helmets of all Destiny lore. Easily. Top five? I don't know. Legendary? Definitely top ten. For sure. Maybe it would be in my top five. But I'm also kind of picky. Because I think Dustwalker, Ghost Angel are two of my absolute favorites. There's some good ones in D2, but I think... This is just truly really gorgeous. The raid ones are kind of, those are cheap because they definitely are all, all of them are in like the top five. At least the, f well, maybe not the Taken King ones. I didn't really care about those too much. Those were kind of ugly. They didn't really do those the way that I liked them, but the other three raids of D1 with the ornaments were beautiful. Even the standard Vault of Glass one was great for all classes. In fact, I kind of like the standard one more than I liked the ornamental variations of them. Oh, we actually found... No way. There's no way it's a group. It's got to be me, just me solo. There's no freaking way, dude. Well, there's one other ship. It might be two people. I might need to have something. I might need to use this. Let's go here and let's do this particular fate bringer. Prison of Elders welcomes you. Live to tell the tale. All right. Okay, so it's just me and and Bro. Round one. You oh. face the disgraced, lost, fallen. Fight. Win. Okay, let's pop two of these. Let's pop one of these. Did he say fallen? Dude, you've got to be joking me. He must have, like, not even realized that there's another player here. He probably got up and, like, walked away and went to the bathroom. I wonder what his build is, because he has Maul's Maulers on, and he has the, uh... Nah, I don't want that. Okay. 
He has Maul's Maulers and he has the uh, Twilight Garrison on. And Twilight Garrison is great. Love that. Galahorn, Don Verdict, Vision of Confluence. I do like this helmet a lot too. His shader is hideous. And he's got an exotic class item on there. Dread Explorer Shell. This is my man right here. I have this exact ship in my inventory. I have this exact ghost on me. Oh, this. Oh, it. Okay, well, he's dead. Yeah, he's not going to make it. Oh, did he? Does he survive? Okay, this should. Yeah, this is the way to go. This gun is ugly with the color, but it works. It's beautiful as far as the explosiveness of it all. Chain of Woe was a good choice. Except I'm come, I feel like Icebreaker might be necessary here. Your light. I think it's the door here. No, it's to the right. Alright, here we go. Yeah, an arc weapon is definitely the way to go here, so I feel like this is a good one. It's just got a good perk set up, too. Okay, not too bad. This is also, I think, a year one version. I don't think we're going to get good gear from this, but we'll see. Maybe we do. I don't see you, fool. Stealth. Okay, let's go ahead and pop this on. I'm gonna go you. What does this one do? Golden gun lasts longer, zooms in further. It's not bad. Who's behind me? Where are you? There we go. Boss oh, should come up soon. Are we being timed? No. I think the timer only happens when we're dealing with the Your the bombs. Tells the tale. Wow, that we were able to move on to the next stage already? Thought there'd be a boss around every phase. Oh. <laughs> I remember this now. Running through this super duper fast. Trying to get to the end. Go back to Airlock. Right here before the it stops you to give you the recap. I will hang on to this for now. Of hate. Vex. Okay, and we'll pop. Kill them dead there. Vex or Void. So we're gonna go Zulie's Bane on this one. Typically they're Void anyway. Okay. I don't think there's a boss in this one, but this stage looks like there would be. That doesn't feel very good. This gun does not have the sort of response I want to feel in a weapon. It just doesn't have that that kick to it. Like when it hits an enemy, it doesn't feel as good. What else is there? Let's try you. I want to see if the Be ready. how the mythic last feels. Is on the way. Destroy mines. Oh, we got a. Die. We did not get a third. Did Your we really choice. get a third? How do I... Oh, I see. We have to shoot this one. Damn it. There's 
the other one. I didn't remember shooting them. Typically, you have to stand underneath them. You have done it. Yeah, I'm gonna need a lot of primaries to make this work. I forgot how much you burn through it with the mythic class. I can't believe in 2024 I'm playing a full fire team situation in Prison of Elders. What in the bloody? Unbelievable. crazy or man this is one mode that they just should bring back this would be an activity people would play like so freaking much just bring back prison of El elders and d2 as like just new content and like bring back a handful of exotics from d1 and have them be super rare drop rewards from this and make people run it endlessly that would just be brilliant like i don't know why you wouldn't even consider that it's crazy crazy god make me the chief creative officer and the chief executive officer d1 or d2 and i will the Destiny franchise. I will make everything right. I promise you. Everything. All of it. No question. I'll do it all right. Everything. Man, I look freaking good. Yeah, this base helmet, though, without this, so ugly. That's so terrible. This is gorgeous, though. Crazy to me. Can I dismantle this without... Oh, it didn't give me shit. I thought it was going to give me a decent drop. Or uh, decent materials, but it didn't. Man, Julius Baines feels like ass. Terrible. Oh my god, I don't want to dismantle it. It's not locked that, locked, locked. That's not locked with the Impress me, yes. Fight and win. I do miss this one. I want to play around with this. I don't I Mythic Class is very useful and I love it, but I don't want to play with a gun that I've had access to for a while, and D2 has had it, so I want to play with this. Oh the cabal. Shit. Okay, pop this. This gun just feels so good as far as ARs go. Jesus Christ. Oh, hey. Kill you. I know he's hitting a shield, but it's whatever. Look at all the orbs. They're so beautiful. Love it. Love it, love it. Incoming. Dismantle mines. Yes. Or you die. Okay, they need to add clear coverage while they do that. Damn it, I was hoping to hit his little side body. get them closer together so I can do more damage to them. Where's the last mine? What the hell? There it is. We killed all the enemies too fast. Success. You have That's so cool. Did they bring that back in D2? I don't know. Did the orbs disappear? They're sticking around a long time. I feel like they disappear really quickly in D2, but... Enemies come, Guardian. Thirst for your light. Dismantle mines, yes. Or...
Yeah, if you line them up right, you can just chain them to hell right here. Did I get knocked really far? Where the hell am I? In prison of elders, man. Love it. Boss time, right? This is round three. They are dead. You, you are not. Oh no. Not. Wasn't it three rounds? Heck. Okay, I was gonna say I didn't do that bad. But you got only 30 kills, so I get six more than me. Okay. Okay. Go back to airlock. Yes. How hard would it really be to bring back the Reef and the Prison of Elders? They could just have a whole bunch of, like, Vex Rifts or Portals or whatever, and then you could just take those to content from D1. I don't know. So much wishful thinking. I just don't think it's unreasonable to, you know? This gun's gonna go away. That thing sucks. Four rounds? Hmm. Hive spawn. Okay. Four rounds, huh? I feel like fire would be really good here. Do I have a fire primary? Yes, I do that one. Okay. We'll see how it goes. I want to play around in Supercell a little more. Oh, shit. It's a waste. These fools are all running in a line. Easy to wipe them out. You can't get up there. That's too bad. Darkness advances. Hive unleashed. Mines must be dismantled. Or dead. So easy to build your super with this. I love it. Risk Runner can suck it, honestly. That's all. We killed the enemies so quickly that the f <laughs> there wasn't even time to get the Guardian. the bombs up. It's so funny. Yes. The mines. Huh. Enemies advance. Again, another ogre. Mines must be destroyed. That sucked. Or dead. Whoa, whoa! That was a lot of action happening right on me. Jesus.
success, Guardian. Success. Victory well earned. The original hung jury. Like, the hung jury. Like, 37. Like, the one that you used in the raid hung jury. Go I don't know. Back to airlock. More than four rounds? What the hell? I feel like every hung jury that's followed has never been as good. It just didn't feel as good. I mean, it felt similar, but it wasn't quite there. They had adept versions. They've had gold versions and silver versions. I mean, I've got a couple of them in D2, but it's just not, not there. Okay, we going in the butthole now? Pop it, pop it, pop it. Finally, level up. Jesus. Final round awaits. I'll just keep that. Ah, uh, here we go. Night, dark blade of the hive. Nice. All right, let's go kick some ass. Do we have a decent vantage point? No, it blocks you from the entry here. That's all right. Uh oh. That didn't do anything. Okay, now people are dying, which is a little scary. Uh-oh. Oh, double O. These Boomer Acolytes are not messing around. Aw, oh, that sucks. I am screwed. I better show my my metal here if I don't get killed by a whizzy. Okay, somebody lived. Good. This is definitely where you need icebreaker. Okay. I don't think we have to clear out everyone, but nice. I kind of saved the day a little bit. Sorta. Of. Didn't die. Nice. Zero deaths, baby. Two on them, one on them. That's what I'm talking about. Return to Airlock, Guardian. Cool. We can hit that treasure chest. In the butthole. Champion of the elders, yes. You have won. Now you could technically go in here during the Forsaken campaign, and there's a strike or two that has a little bit of this in it, but. Yes. This is what it originally looked like. All the gold, and you like couldn't even really do anything with it, which is frustrating. Got a mode of light. Here, more of that. Oh, we got hard light! Ha! Ah! And chain of orbix fell. Nice. All right, hard light. Oh, this is the year one version. That's okay. I had to, to get through this quest line anyway. We already have the D2 or the uh, year three version or year two version or whatever. Exotic shard is basically what it gave me. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. That worked out well. KD ratio, 56. 117, baby. That's my ratio. Eh. Love it. All right, let's head to the tower. Decrypt our stuff. And wrap it up, shall we? Very nice. I guess we can go to the reef for this. So we, now we unlocked everything. Oryx's Grudge. So we're going to do all of those. And this is what? Challenge of the Elders. So this is Prison of Elders for House of Wolves. So this is the year one stuff. Challenge of the Elders. And this is Prison of Elders. Okay. So I'm wondering. So this Prison of Elders got remade to this. And then, yeah. Because this is all relevant stuff for this particular. Okay. Sweet, dude. Nice. We'll take down Skolas as well. Which was not, which was not easy. 
Mind you, that was not an easy thing. Ah, that's too bad. This is also the year one version, but that makes sense. All things considering. Nice, 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 nice. That's my baby right there. Swap you back. And we're good without that. Eh, I need it. I need it. She is good looking. One good looking hunter. So good. Cool. All right. Well, that's a wrap on this episode of our legacy playthrough of Destiny 1. If you enjoyed the episode, you can show your love by hitting the like button. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. Any feedback for me, leave it in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Also, don't forget to take a look at the description box. There are some links there that might be of interest to you, one of which is a link to the Mark and I Community Discord server. If you want to be part of that group, you can chat with me directly. Otherwise, just know I appreciate you and your time and hope to see you when we continue with more of our playthrough of Destiny 1. All right, guys, that's it for me. Take care, be well. See you next time.